I will be a hero. And confiding in Providence, I will brave every danger. It's all very well for him. He don't have to go out there, does he? Hey? Give us a look. Close shave? Yes, it was. Mind if I smoke? Of course not. Lovely weather we're having. Yes, it's quite seasonal. You haven't a newspaper or a magazine I could borrow, have you? I didn't have time to get one at the station. No. I'm afraid I haven't. Would you mind if we talked? Oh? I mean, it's a bit awkward just sitting here. They tell me this is about the only country in the world where you can sit in a carriage with somebody for hours without saying a word. Sometimes I think it's a bit stupid, don't you? Perhaps it is sometimes. Are you going to London? Yes. So am I. Five days leave. You must be back from the sea, then. Much more exhausting. A long gunnery course. Ballistics, mechanics, mathematics, explosives, and parades. Endless parades. They put you through it. That will be Whale Island. How did you know? <clears throat> my home's in Portsmouth. My father has friends at the naval barracks. Oh, I see. Gunnery must be very important, especially in wartime. Yes, yes, I'm told it has its uses. Oh, we're coming into Hazelwood. Only two more stations along Longmere Junction. That's where we change. Gracious, it seems as though we just left Portsmouth. One could take that as quite a compliment. Yes. I suppose one could. All change for London. Porter, have we time to get a cup of tea, Porter? Time for a cup of tea, sir. I reckon you have. London Connection don't get it till 10 20 now, sir. What? But that's nearly three hours. Aye, ah, it's a war, ma'am. Everything's changed. Nothing but troop trays and goods these days. Thank you. What do we do now? Mm, just wait here, I suppose. For three hours? Look, I'll tell you what. Let's leave our luggage, take a stroll through the village, and find somewhere to have dinner. Oh, no, I don't Too think I... No, it's not that. You've been very kind. It's just that... Young ladies don't accept invitations from strangers. Especially strange sailors. Uh, hardly that. I've told you my whole life story. Well, we can't just stand here, can we? Of course not. I'm going to propose a toast. To Miss Lucinda Bentley. Lieutenant Richard Sadler. <laughs> I was just thinking what my family would say if they could see me now. Do I appear so disreputable? No, oh, it's not that. But they're very strict where I'm concerned. Tell me about them, Lucy. 
Well, there's my father. He's a merchant and two brothers. They're in the business with him. My mother died when I was at school and I've had to take care of the house for them. That's all I think. May I ask you an impertinent question? No, certainly not. Oh. What is it? Uh, are you... I mean, is there... Is there any anyone who you... If you're trying to ask me if I'm engaged, the answer is no. And you? Me? Engaged? <laughs> Heavens, no. Now, they don't encourage serious attachments on a junior officer's pay, you know. It's supposed to take your mind off your work. But that's just like my father. If I was to get married, they'd have no one to take care of the house for them. They keep me well out of temptation. They allow you to go off to London by yourself? It's the first holiday I've had in years. I'm allowed one week with my cousin Carrie. That's taking no risk at all. No. Well, almost no risk. Oughtn't we to be going? It must be getting very late. We've loads of time. Let's take a stroll. It's been such a pleasant evening, I, I don't want it to end. One could take that as quite a compliment. Yes. Yes, I, I suppose one could. Could I have a bill, please? Coming, sir. Lucy. Yes, dear? Do you know you're rather beautiful? It's only the night and the wine. No, I... I thought so the moment I laid eyes on you. And you're different. That's because I come from a different world. I can talk to you. As a matter of fact, I'm not very good at talking to women usually. It's been a wonderful evening, Dick. I shall never forget it. Nor I. Lucy, there may not be another chance for me to tell you how much meeting you has meant to me. I really don't know how to say it. It's late. We'll miss it. Good heavens, it's quarter past ten. Quick. Walter. What's a which platform for the London train? London train, bless me. London train left five minutes ago. We've missed it. Oh, we can't keep them hanging around these days, not like we used to. What, what time's the next one? There ain't another one settled this time tomorrow. What? This time tomorrow? That's right. Only one passenger train per day now, and I don't reckon we'll have that much longer. It's this Kaiser Hilder at him. Nothing but troop trains and goods these days. What am I to say to Carrie? How shall I explain what am I to do? Now, don't worry. You'll simply send a wire saying you missed the train and you'll be there tomorrow night. Yes, but what are we to do? I reckon you'll have to take your wife to the Angel, sir. Dear says Mrs. Godliman can put you up for the night. Well, there's your luggage, sir. You'll have to excuse me. I'm closing up now. Since the war started, I've had to sweep up, clean up, wipe up. <laughs> They'll even have me polishing up the rails, Nick. Good night, ma'am. Good night, sir. Good night. Oh, how stupid of us to let this happen. You see, I, I should say I'm sorry. I know it was my fault as much as yours. No, it's not. Now that it has happened, I'm glad. No, Dick, please. I'm being selfish, aren't I? Well, it's true. In London tonight, we should have parted. I, I might never have seen you again. Well? It's pretty hard to find something and then lose it the very next moment. Oh, Lucy, it's hopeless. There's so much I want to say to you. If only I could find the words. Dick, dear. 
What do we want to say? Seventeen and eight. Yes, that's right. Well, I must say we're sorry to see you go. We hope you'll be able to stay a little longer. Still, you've had five days, haven't you? And that's something. In wartime, everyone's here today, gone tomorrow. That's what I always say. Still, it's very hard, especially for you young people. Here you are, sir. Your change, sir. Thank you, Mrs. Godleman. And your receipt. Well, you're not leaving any good weather behind you, are you? Mr. Godleman was only saying yes. He said since this war started, he said everything's changed, even the weather. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, Bert did bring the bags down from your room, so will you ask the young lady to give us a call when hers are ready? Right, oh, thanks. Bert? Come in. Everything's settled. Miserable day. Dick. I want to talk to you about what we decided last night. Yes, Lucy. I've changed my mind, Dick. I don't think we ought to get married after all. What? But it's all settled. We agreed that we... I know. But I've thought about it again. There are no buts about this, Lucy. I simply can't go away now. No, Pig. What we've done is wrong. Very wrong. But marriage isn't just a means to rectify a wrong. It's much more than that. Of course it is. I, I know that. When you got into the train at Portsmouth, you had no intention of getting married, had you? No, but I... In fact, you were quite definite about it. You said marriage was a handicap to a young officer, especially one who wasn't wealthy. You'll be away at sea for years. You'll come back to a wife you hardly know. When you asked me to marry you, had you thought about that? That's not the point, Lucy. Oh, yes, it is, darling. I want you to face that squarely. I want to do what I think is right. Why are you making it so difficult for me? Because I love you. And I've grown to know you. You're insisting on this out of a sense of duty. I think in your heart you're scared and uncertain. You don't really want to take a chance. Lucy, I've told you I love you. Isn't that enough? No, Dick. Not unless your love is strong enough to make you want to take a chance. And it isn't, is it? I must change my dress. The train goes in half an hour. I shall never forget you. Goodbye, Lucy.
wake up, Stratford. What's wrong with you? Maybe they're all out to lunch. More likely they're sleeping it off. At last. Here we go, Gloomy. OK, Canada, let's have it. From Ainsbury to Stratford. Dunfer. Castle. That's it. Cambridge is making a signal too, Yeoman. She's asking the same thing. Give her a Roger. Right, where you go? Signals from Amesbury and Cambridge, sir. The answer is affirmative to both. Aye, aye, sir. You want to know if we picked up the SOS from the Dunfern Castle? Pilot? No. Give me the approximate position of the Dunfern Castle, please. She was four days out of Panama, heading for Sydney with a cargo of machinery. She must be almost on the equator, sir. We're here. I'll put the Dunfern Castle 600 miles northeast of us and 900 miles due west of the Galapagos Islands. I see. Our convoy is still 60 miles astern. Thank you, pilot. No. You know what this means, don't you? It's the German raider. It's the Essen. Can we be sure of that, sir? I don't think there's any doubt of it. We know a German cruiser left Valparaiso three weeks ago on a westerly course. What's our last news of Essen, pilot? She was reported heading north at about 14 knots, sir. That was four days ago. This fits in very nicely. Let me see that SOS. Being shelled by enemy cruiser, sinking. Yes, it's the Essen, all right. She's the only one with range to operate in this part of the Pacific. You sent for me, sir. Chief, I believe we're in striking distance of Essen. We're going after her. Well, down to 55% fuel remaining, sir. What can we do on that? Eight days steaming at our present speed. At a full speed? Less than half that, sir. Then we are in a fix. If we lost Essen and she got through to that convoy, she'd have an afternoon's target practice picking them off like wooden ducks on a pond. Our name would be Mud. And if we don't go after her, sir? Yes, you're quite right. They'd have us for that, too. If we go after Essen, we risk the convoy. If we don't, we miss the chance of destroying the most powerful enemy ship in the Pacific. Amesbury and Cambridge are all right, sir. They topped up with fuel before joining us. Yes, but not to be able to go after Essen myself. Well, there's nothing else for it. Commander, Captain Ashley will go after Essen with Amesbury and Cambridge. We remain behind to cover convoy. Aye, aye, sir. Make a signal, Chief Yeoman, please. Aye, aye, sir. Do you hear there? Do you hear there? The captain will now address the ship's company. This is Captain Ashley speaking. I've news for all hands. At last, we may be going into action. The German raider Essen is known to be in this area. We've received orders to go after her. The earliest possible time of making contact will be daylight tomorrow. You'll be called to action stations then. I'm confident that we shall acquit ourselves well. We'll exercise action stations as soon as hands have finished dinner, Commander. Aye, aye, sir. Would you believe it? Everyone peacefully sailing along, minding his own business, and Jerry has to turn up like a bad penny. As if the weather in these parts ain't not enough without him. Ah, get away, Misery. With a bit of luck, we'll get a week's leave out of this. What do you say, Brown? I'd say we need a bit of luck. Guns on the S and outranges by about 5,000 yards. No. You're kidding, Brown. I'm not. I'm just glad Cambridge is with us to share the fun, that's all. They are, you see. It's just like the gypsy said when she read me fortune. Stay away from water, she said. It'll never be no good to you. I thought she meant the stuff you'd drink. <laughs> Hello, Curly. Hello. SDO, Flag Dick. No nerves in the nerve center, I hope. No nerves, almost no hands Flag blasted. Dick. Send the yeoman down. Aye, aye, sir. Got two men in the sick bay. Oh, that's bad luck. Look, I've got to have another body for coding. Can you lend me one of yours? What, at this time, Curly? Of course, at this time we've got the function, haven't we? All right, if it'll shorten the war, I'll send you one down. It's going to cost you a large gin, huh? No, cheap at the price. You might make it that Canadian lad Brown, will you? Now, wait a minute. Brown's done the job before. He's bright and he's dependent. No, I'm sorry, Curly. You can have Bishop, Egham, or Pointer, but Brown stays on the flag then. You're a glutton. He's one of my best men. Let's have a look at that, will you? What I can't make out, Brownie, is why you ever come into signals. Because when I was training at Shotley, this is what they told me to do. How about gunnery? You wanted to do that, didn't you? Well, they said they needed signalmen. You can't always do what you want in service, you know that. A strong sense of duty, eh? You want your head examined, chum. 
Well, as a matter of fact, some time ago, I did think about putting in for a transfer. Oh, why didn't you? Oh, I don't know. Would have meant dipping rate and starting all over again. Thought it was taking too much of a chance, so I decided to stay put. Well, all I can say is it's typical. Here are you up to the eyeballs in book learning about ships and guns and everything else your mum learned you. The proud possessor of more rifle shooting medals than I've had nights ashore. And what do they give you to do? Gun laying? Firing off torpedoes? Not on your life. Flashing lamps and taking messages and running bits of coloured bunting up and down to the yard arm. And blind old Riley, they expect us to win the war. Anshaw. Yes, sir. How long have you been in the service, Anshaw? Twelve years, sir, last January. That's a long time to remain a signalman, isn't it? Yes, sir. I'd like to know exactly what connection you think there is between shooting a rifle and ship's gunnery. I don't know, sir. No, I didn't think you did. Let me tell you, Earnshaw. Nothing. Precisely nothing. But I do expect you to know that in battle, communications are every bit as vital as gunnery. And that's our job. Yes, sir. Let's see we do it well. All right, everyone feeling fit? Yes, yes sir. sir. Brian, when Pointer comes on, have him report to the SDO for coding duties, will you? Aye, aye, sir. Carry on, please. Why does it always have to happen to me? You want to learn to keep that big mouth of yours shut, chum. Now me bleating life bell won't blow up. Come on in, John. Help yourself to a gin. Sit down. Thank you, sir. I'm just making out my report to the Admiralty on my orders to Ashley. Yes, sir. Can I pour you one? Thanks. I suppose if I weren't a temperate sort of fellow, I'd be drowning my sorrows tonight. Why not? Naval gin is only tuppence and noggin. The job can be done quickly and cheaply. Thank goodness. I suppose it can. Thanks, John. John, you and I have been shipmates and friends for a long time. I don't mind telling you that to engage Essen is something I've dreamed of. It's a very bitter experience to have to send a junior ship to do the job for you. Yes, of course it is. It's rotten luck for you, sir. Sailor's service, you know, John, is his only memorial. I wanted to lead this squadron into action against Essen more than anything I've wanted in my whole life. For one reason or another, I seem to have missed the big chances. Or is that making it too personal, Matt? I wouldn't say so, sir. Not if Horatio Nelson's any guide, sir. Nelson? Do you remember what he once wrote, sir? I will be a hero, he said. And confiding in Providence, I'll brave every danger. Yes. Close the enemy. Lay alongside. Only I had to send Tom Ashley. Your only other action would have risked the convoy, sir. No, but I'm beginning to wonder whether I shouldn't have accepted the risk. To have caught Aston and destroyed him. Wouldn't that have justified it? Well, it's bound to be a matter of opinion, sir. My reasons for not going were sound enough, I know that. But aren't there times when instinct is an even better guide than reason? Let me ask you a question, John, as a friend. Sir? In my position, would you have taken the risk? Really, sir, how can I possibly... Come on, John, out with it. Well, yes, sir, I would have. I see. Well, it's not the first time I've failed to follow my instinct and live to regret it, John. Excuse me, sir. Commander, sir, round, sir, please. Very good. Amesbury and Cambridge may still destroy the Essen, you know, sir. Yes, of course. I only wish I was with Tom Ashley at this moment. Carry on, please, Commander. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, sir. Signal from Cambridge, sir. I've sighted Dunfern Castle survivors dead ahead. Send the following answer. Pick up survivors and rejoin utmost dispatch. Stop. Reducing speed to 15 knots. Maintaining present course. Aye, aye, sir. Reduce speed to 15 knots, pilot. Aye, sir. Defense stations, please, Commander. Aye, sir. Sound off defense stations. Aye, aye, sir. Revolutions 150. Five zero. For the best.
benefit of those members of the damage control party who've never been in action before. That signal woman over there is bending on what they call a battle ensign. Now, when that goes up, there'll be three ensigns flying, and that means that someone's falling. They always put up three so that if one gets shot away, the enemy can't say he thought we'd struck. In the Royal Navy, we never strike our ensigns, see? So you better make up your minds to be ruddy heroes, whether you want to be or not. There, yeah, take your hand out of your pocket, you. Any sign of Cambridge, sir? No, sir, not yet. Very well. Reduce speed to ten knots. Aye, aye, sir. I wanted to catch up with this before dark. Revolutions 100. Revolutions 100, sir. bearing green to Osa. Action stations, please. Yes. Sighting report, sir. Ainsbury has spotted the radar. Any details? No, sir. Just a standard sighting report. All right, no acknowledgement. All right, sir. This is Tom Ashley's big chance, sir. The two of them should certainly be able to handle the Essen despite her heavier guns. All things being equal. Still, at this moment, God bless him. Here we go. He ain't wasting much time, is he? She's well beyond the range of our guns. Good shooting. If we're going to hold it till Cambridge shows up, we'll have to outrun it. Hold 10. Hold 10, sir. I've got a strange feeling this is going to be a bit dodgy, old man. What are they waiting for up top? Till we get close enough to fire bows and arrows at them? Still no sign of Cambridge, sir. I'll get those fat eyes below. And the double. Come on, get in there, my dogs. Come on, look, Lord, they've got those houses right now. Anybody think it was a bunch of cripples? Are you Thompson? Go up, the bridge at once. Far boy off the magazine. Hi, right, sir. We got our runner, which is much too far. Tell GCO to open fire as soon as she's in range. We must do the reverse. Starboard 20. Starboard 20. Starboard Pull 20, ahead, sir. both. Pull ahead, both ends. This is the captain speaking. So far, we've had to take all the punishment. Now we're going to give them a taste of their own bits. We're going right into attack with torpedoes. Cambridge will be with us soon. Essen must not, I repeat, must not get away undamaged. Let every man do his duty. And good luck to you all. Torpedo tubes to the ready. <whistles> Damage control bridge. 
far body after magazine out of control. Pioneer after magazine's out of control, sir. Blood X and Y magazine. Blood X and Y magazine. I'd like to go in another thousand yards, but we'd never make it. Stand by, torpedoes. Then let's get out of it. Harder port. You're wasting your time, Brown. There's no bridge left. Essen, hit, torpedo, port. Idea what it's about. Haven't a clue. Something's up. You sent for me, sir. Oh, yes. Gentlemen, we've just had some very bad news. Amesbury has been sunk. Captain Ashley and his crew are lost. Our report tells us Essen was hit by a torpedo. I believe she will now do one of two things. Try to find a place to effect repairs, or put into an American port and be interned for the duration. Either way, she no longer represents a threat to our convoy. Chief? Sir. Cambridge is shadowing Essen. Fuel shortage or no fuel shortage, I want the maximum speed you can let me have. Aye, aye, sir. We're going after Essen, gentlemen. We're going after her, we're going to find her. And we're going to destroy her. That's all. Thank you. Ein Toast auf die Essen. Hesse, die Essen. Die Essen. Herrlein. Oh, come in. Komm. Have you had something hot to drink? Yes, sir, thank you. You may sit down. It is there. Your name? <coughs> Brown. Andrew Brown. What are you? Canadian. No, no, no. What do you do? Your work? Bleeding signal. Your ship? 
I set your ship. Cigarette, Brian? Go ahead. Your ship was the Amesbury, Brian. We know that. What was she doing here? Where, where was she going? I don't know. You worked in communications, Brian. The cruiser doesn't sail aimlessly across the Pacific, does she? You're going to be with us a long time. Why be obstinate? Make things hard for yourself. The Amesbury was not alone, was she? As far as I know, she was. Yet shortly after you were picked up, we intercepted a wireless from another warship. What ship was that, Brown? I don't know. You want me to believe that just one light cruiser came to attack us? Nonsense. No English captain would do that. I wouldn't know, sir. You know a great deal, Brown. If you knew less, you'd talk more. The Amesbury was not alone. She was part of a larger force sent to destroy us, wasn't she? I don't follow all that, sir. I told you all I can. Very well, Brian. You aren't very skillful, but I admire your courage. You may go. Der Borja hat Rückgrat. Tja, der ist eigensinnig, Herr Kapitän. Das untere Bett. Hey, hier ist er. Ah, komm her, du. Na komm. Zieh den Vorhang zu. Den Vorhang. Ja, ja. Noch ein Engländer. Engländer. Sieht aber schlimm mit ihm aus. Englishman? Ja, Engländer. Sehr krank. Sein Bein. Kaputt. Du, leg dich dahin. Schlaf jetzt. Schlaf jetzt. Schönes Wetter, was? Wetter? Schönes Wetter. Oh, yes, the weather. Yes, very good for you, old man. It'd be pretty hard to find in this weather, wouldn't you? Wie in England, huh? Die ganze Zeit regnet's. Mm. England, Regen. Oh, yes, yes. Just like England, I guess. Komm. How you feel? Well, where my left leg was isn't too comfy. Apart from that, all I need is the old woman. Let's have a drop of that water, will you? Sure. So. So, mate. The old brown, aren't you? 
Yeah, I remember you from Pompey when you won the rifle shooting. You done pretty well, mate. Signals? That's right. Yeah, I thought so. I'm Wheatley, so I got a petty officer. We the only two. Yeah. So why did they trouble, I wonder? Why didn't they make a nice clean sweep with a lot of us? Well, they need information, I guess. As soon as they fished me out of the water, I was hauled up before the skipper. He thinks Amesbury is part of a larger force. And was she? They may question you too, you know. Me? I don't know nothing. I work in a boiler house. But I would like to see these bleeders blown out of the water. I would like to see that. Well, you better get yourself into shape pretty quickly, Stokes. It may happen sooner than we think. That'll be rich, Upwood. First, Jerry blows you into the soup. Then Jerry lugs you out of the soup. Then along come your own blokes and blow you right back into it again. Oh. Better see if they can fit me with a wooden leg pretty quick. Might help me float better. Cool, gotta have something for this leg. Hey, Fritz! Close your spurts in, boy. Get me a Vastagaker. Moment, boy. You speak German? You understand it? Yeah. I worked with the Norddeutsche shipping line a bit before the war. Yes, I understand the lingo, mate. And I understand the people. They're OK. But you never want to let them get on top of you. Remember that, son. They're always liable to let you have it where you don't like it, see? That's right, didn't it, Fritz? Bitte? Verstehen you? There you are, you see. He couldn't agree with me more. Captain, sir. Thank you. I was afraid of this. It's from Cambridge. She's run into dirty weather and lost the Essen. That's tricky, sir. Yes. Well, let's see what we do now. Pilot? Sir? The last report from Essen showed her on a northeasterly course, right? Yes, sir. Here, sir. I see. Well, if she continued on that course, she'd be forced to give herself up. But she won't do that. The trouble is, where would she go? Where could she find a shelter for repairs? Has she turned north, do you think, sir, and run for Impala? No, too much traffic. She'd keep away from there. Let's see. The Galapagos group. She could find an anchorage there, all right. Very good pilot, give me a course. My guess is right, the Aston has a very good head start on us. But with a bit of luck, we might just catch her. Yeoman? Sir? Take a signal to Cambridge. Tell her to rendezvous with us south of the Galapagos Islands. Give me a position, please, pilot. Must have a bow full of water. And a leak in a collision bulkhead. We're losing way. We're moving more slowly than we were yesterday. As far as I'm concerned, she can really well sink. Yeah, she won't sink. Not unless we hit another storm. That's just like I was telling you. The way they design these ships nowadays with special watertight compartments. Yes, I remember, and but not now, Professor. Thanks. I'm in no mood to concentrate. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right, son. You know what you ought to do, don't you? You ought to put in for Admiral. All this talk about tactics and bulkheads and ballistics. Who learned you it all, anyway? I was brought up on the Navy, Stokes. What, your dad, eh? No, my mother. Your mum? Yeah. She's quite a woman. She knows more about the Navy than most of the Admirals. Sure. I never knew Canadian girls were so interested in the Navy. My well, mother's English. You see, my dad died before I was born, and she left England and went to Canada, Montreal. I guess she wanted to get away and forget. He was Navy, too, but she never talks about him, not even now. I guess it must have been pretty tough for her working in a strange land. <laughs> yeah, she used to feed me the Navy with my bottle. Did she now? 
Will you be a good lad and feed me some of that water over there, will you? Oh, sure. That's funny. The engines have almost stopped. We must be in smooth water. Now come here, son, do it. Back for drive. Beide Maschinen langsam voraus. Beide langsam voraus. Beide Maschinen langsam voraus. Well, where are we? Well, I don't know. I can't recognize anything. Beide Maschinen, stop. Beide Maschinen, stop. Beide Maschinen, stop. some sort of a lagoon. The channel must be pretty narrow. They've taken a line from the stern. Then she can't turn around. The water must be too shallow on either side to let her swing. Blimey, what a sinner she'd be if our lads came along now, eh? Unsere Reparaturarbeiten müssen unbedingt bis morgen Abend abgeschlossen sein. They believe they're being followed. What's he saying now? They've got to make their repairs and get out. He says he'll give them just 36 hours. If they wait any longer, they'll be trapped. Sein äußerstes tut. Los, we have no time. 36 hours, eh? If only we could do something to hold them up. I'd give the other leg if we could do that.
Komm. Vorwärts. What are they trying to do? Capsize this tub? They're listing her over so they can work on the damage. Not losing much time either. You ought to see them up there. Well, I'd rather them than me. It's too bleeding off. What a place to be stuck in, eh? Not a breath of air, and not a pub in sight. Court couldn't I do to a nice pint of pig's ear now. Listen, Stokes. I think we can do something. Do something? Do something to what? To delay him. To stop her from getting her repaired in time. Oh, if I know. And me with one leg? No, of course not. But it was you who gave me the idea in the first place. Do you remember when the captain was talking and you said, if only there's something we can do to hold her up? Well, I think we can. Are you feeling all right? Yes, man? of course I am. It isn't the heat, is it? You haven't got a touch of no, the sun. No, no, no. It's just that ever since you said that, I've been looking around and figuring things out. I've got an idea. Now, wait a minute. You want to take the ship on a single-handed, is that it? Well, I hadn't thought about it that way. Well, you'd better. There's one thing, though. Suppose we did manage to delay him. Suppose our ships did catch up. How about you? Well, I shan't be very comfy, shall I? Yeah, I know, but you Listen, wouldn't be able to get up. If I come out of this, what chance do you think I've got to get him back to sea again? On one leg and a stump. And I've been at sea since I was 14 years old. They'd only put me up on the beach to rot, and I wouldn't like that sea. So if you're not completely off your rocker, Buster, you go ahead. Okay, Stokes. As long as you realize that whatever you do, you're going to be taking a terrible chance. You do realize that, don't you? You're going to be taking a terrible chance. Yeah.
als eine Rotenplatte. Verflucht doch mal! Franz, komm zurück! Schnell! Denn wir haben keine Ahnung. Der Engländer Braun ist geflohen, Herr Kapitän. Wie ist das möglich? Was sagen Sie da? Wo ist die Wache? Er behauptet, dass er hinter... Bringen Sie den Kerl sofort her. Er kommt schon, Herr Kapitän. Dieser Mann war auf Wache, Herr Kapitän. Nun? Er fiel mich an. Er fiel Sie an? Ganz unerwartet, Herr Kapitän. Sie sind unter Arrest, verstanden? Unter strengsten Arrest. Abtreten!
Hier rüber. Also machen wir schnell. Fangen wir hier an. Keine Zeit zu verlieren. Also los, Hans da. Dann müssen wir noch aushalten. Run! I am going to give you just one chance. We know where you are. If you don't come out and surrender immediately, I am going to train my heavy guns on you. Now come out and surrender. Fire! Fire! Alle Mann zurück an die Arbeit. Was zum Donnerwetter ist los mit euch? Ich habe gesagt, zurück an die Arbeit. Alle Mann zurück an die Arbeit, weitermachen. Aber schnell! schnell. Mal los! Also schnell machen! Wir haben noch wenige Zeit für Reparaturarbeit. Wir wissen, dass wir verfolgt werden. Wie geht's da mit Ihrer Sache? Buster Brown, Buster Brown. 
What have you done all the time, my Buster Brown? I won't give an old age pay just to hear what they say. La 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 la. Hey, Fritz. How's the work going on up top? The gates went to Arbor to open, eh? Still. Best part of the day. Keep it up, Buster. I'd say there are three islands that are most probable, pilot. Chatham, Barrington, Resolution. Let's check these first. Aye, aye, sir. We're getting very low on fuel. Yes, I know, but we can't drop speed now. Our best course is through this passage, sir. Very good. Adjust our speed to arrive off Chatham Island at daybreak. I'll make a signal to Cambridge telling of the plan. Alles weiter machen. Wir haben noch zwei Platten hier gewettet, Kapitän. Gut.
not with us. Knocked out her fire control. She's not getting anywhere near us. Wurde von Geschütze Gefechtsunfähigkeit gefunden. Das spielt keine Rolle mehr.
Prepare to pick up survivors. Aye, aye, sir. Come on, keep moving. Come on, down below, jump. Go on, keep moving. I'm an officer. Corvetten, Captain Hesse. Very good. Stand over there. I wish to make a report. There was a British rating on Resolution Island. British rating? We rescued him from the Amesbury. Oh. Then I'd like to know why you put him ashore. We didn't. He stole a rifle, escaped, and was shooting at us ever since. No. He held us up for more than 18 hours. There's a survivor from Amesbury on Resolution. Ask the captain if we can send a boat away and bring him in at once. Aye, aye sir. I think you'd better come and tell the captain about this. Come on, keep moving. Well, Brown, congratulations. You're looking fit again. Thank you, Admiral. Same to you, sir. No family here, Brown? Oh, no. There's only my mother, sir, and she lives in Montreal. Oh, I see. She sent me a wonderful cable, sir. This is really her day. Her day? Yes, sir. She trained me from the time I could walk, and with Mother, the Navy was the only thing right from the word go. I see. She bore down on me worse than any old-time bosun. Apparently, she made a good job of it, Brown. By the way, I'm having you assigned as my signalman. Thank you, sir. The orders came through this morning. You're Brown, aren't you? Yes, sir. His Majesty will arrive at any moment. You'll be called first, since you're the only recipient of the Victoria Cross. Yes, sir. Admiral Saville, the orders of knighthood will be second. Thank you. You'll be reporting aboard ship in the morning. Yes, sir. Good. We shall be on convoy duty in the North Atlantic. We may well put into Montreal. I was hoping for that, sir. It's been four years since I've seen Mother. Well, it may not be long now. I hope we get a chance to meet her. Yes, sir. It's too bad she couldn't be here, Brown. She must be a very remarkable woman. Mm -hmm. 